Hi, it's Paul, and on this particularly fine English weather day, I am trying out my new Ryobi inflator compressor, and I'm going to pump up my Red Paddle Co paddle board with it. Let's see how we get on. What I'm doing then is timing it from the point that I take the board out of the bag because I want to know exactly how long it's going to take me once I reach the river, get the board out of the bag, pump it up, get it on the river, what's the total time span? That's my interest. I thought I'd start out with a 1.3 amp hour battery and see how long it lasts. You'll see the answer to that in a while. I wanted to add in a bit at this point because I realised in the main video it doesn't show you me connecting the high volume connector. On the high volume part of the Ryobi there's no bayonet connector or anything. You literally just have to hold it against the valve on the paddle board. It won't lock in place. The other thing you need to be very aware of is you need to press in and hold or lock in place the air release valve because if you leave the air release valve out, it won't pump up. The Ryobi hasn't got enough power to pump past it. volume side if I take the hose away it will literally just deflate again so I'll just pump it back up and then you'll see as it reaches as much as I can get it on the high volume I pull the hose away and I quickly flick the valve back out so that it locks the air in place that's as far as it will go pull the hose off flick the valve out and that stops the air releasing this is just an ang another angle of it shown on my workbench I didn't pump the board up fully I was just demonstrating how it all went together so now back to the main part of the video. We're now on three minutes or so. The high volume part of the inflation is done. The board is essentially part inflated. I disconnect the high volume part of it you see me faffing about putting the hose back on I could have saved myself 30 seconds on here and what I'm also going to do at this point is I'm going to put the side reinforcement strips into the board because if I leave it any longer it's going to be difficult to put them in place so you'll see me grab them out of the bag in a minute I'm just putting the tire inflator adapter onto the inflation valve of the board connecting up the Ryobi to it so this is now on the low volume high pressure side this is the the car tire inflation bit if you like I've got an adapter to fit the board uh, which is a compressor adapter a tire inflator adapter and now I'm getting the reinforcing strips out of the bag and I'm going to stick them in place in the board
now going to skip to uh, 20 minutes or so and this is when the 1.3 amp hour battery ran out just swapping it over I think I put a 2 amp hour in after that um, so again I lost sort of half a minute or so let's say uh, new battery going in up and running again Skipping forward again, we're now at the half hour mark, getting very close to full inflation now. And that's it, 33 odd minutes and we've reached full inflation. So I've stopped the timer at 33 minutes because that is the full job. I could chuck the inflator back in the car now and literally jump on the board and out on the river. Um, that said, half an hour, it's too long. So for my purposes, Ryobi inflator, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's a great little tool, but not really what I'm looking for to get my paddleboard on the river. You'll see in my other video where I actually review the inflator, I pump up the tire on my van and I also use it for blowing muck off the, the workshop bench um, and, and it's fine, it's perfectly capable but in terms of a usable tool for pumping up my paddleboard, yes it works and there's absolutely no effort involved but it's not really what I'm looking for. So if that's helped you, brilliant. I'd be delighted if you'd add a comment below or like the video if it's been useful. If you want to check out any more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel and check out oldmanwith.com, which has got more information on DIY stuff, more Ryobi tool reviews and lots of other completely unrelated stuff that you might find interesting or you might not. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.